Welcome in to Apple High School Basketball on the Rewind Sports Network on KSLSports.com, presented by Opal Luxury Services, as we've got the Alpha Hawks continuing, well, the early part of the 23 season as they prepare to take on the American Fort Cavemen. Thank you for joining us, everyone. My name is Dane Stewart. Excited to bring you this game tonight. Alta started off the year impressive. They got a really significant win over Sunrise out of Arizona. Now they come in-state, and they look to take on a team that's going to be tough in 6A. They're moving to take on an upper-classification team, and the Alta Hawks look led in that first matchup by Jackson Johnson, the future University of Utah Ute, 28 points in that game, six made threes in the contest. Ace Riser had 14, Dash had 13, Carter Doliak had nine. This is a deep roster, but it might be the best starting five in the entire state. They got experience, they got uh, seniors, and they got underclassmen as well. There's great depth to this Alta team. We'll get into that as the uh, game proceeds. Meanwhile, American Fork, Coach Ryan Cuff, such a great job with this program. He's brought state championships. He's also brought in uh, some new faces. He's got some experience, too. Tiger Cuff, the future Weber State Wildcat. Young man, finally in his senior season. He's been a multi-year contributor here for American Fork. I also have Blake Rawson, very experienced big man inside. And then you have guys like Reese Dent, Diego Mulford that have come in. And uh, this factors to be a balanced American Fork lineup as well. Two great teams in their respective classifications going head-to-head is American Fork in the reds, out to in the white uniforms tonight. As want to remind you, the clock you see on your screen, unofficial. At times we start it early, stop it late, that sort of thing. to keep it trued up with the clock here in the arena. As this is Tiger Cuff playing back over there with Rawson. And it is Blake Rawson getting the first points of the game tonight for the Cavemen. Alta's first possession. This is Ace Riser over to Johnson. He'll try the three. Jackson Johnson long on the attempt and the rebound captured there by American Fork who moved the ball up quickly. Here's Shepard. He'll pull from 15. He's strong. Offensive board by Reese Dent. Dent going back up. Couldn't get it to go as it rattled out on the 6'8 senior. Alta coming up the floor. Riser looking to drive. Ace. Thought about that little fade away. Instead, he'll send it out here to Jackson Johnson. The bench of AF cheering on this defense in the early portion. Goodfellow sends over. Doliak's three won't go. And Jackson Johnson takes it away for Alta. Johnson off the window. And Alta's first points of the night are to the senior. Worked inside. Rawson. Four quick points here for Blake Rawson. Doliak sends back out to Dash. Dash Riser pulling up just off the mark. Tapped loose. Ace with it. He'll play it to Dash. Tough pull up there from 15 as Mulford had a nice close out there. And it's taken away there by Rawson. Here comes American Fork. Cuff across the timeline. A little back cut. Shepard fouled on the take. I think this foul might go on Goodfellow. Indeed it will. First team foul for Alta. Shepard, the 6'2 senior, makes his first free throw. One more here. Two for two. Six two early advantage here for the cavemen. Here's Ace. Ace on the drive. Boy, that's tough. 
It was good defense, but a foul coming in late there will send Ace Riser to the free throw line. Of course, want to thank D2D Millionaire if you're in the home service industry and looking to break revenue records in 2024 door-to-door can help you do it. D2D Millionaire has been helping home service companies build successful door-to-door programs since 2003. Schedule a free consultation by going to LennyGray.com. That's Gray, G-R-A-Y, LennyGray.com to learn how you can elevate your door-to-door programs. Ace at the line goes one of two. Of course, those free throws brought to you by D2D Millionaire as they will be all season here on the Rewind Sports Network. Oh, and Ace with the steal. Had dash up ahead. Ace will pull from the junction, blocked by Tiger Cuff. And now Cuff looking for the long outlet to Shepard. And Jackson Johnson there with the board. AF thought there was contact there. Coach Cuff holding the hands up in the corner. Ace, that drive cut off by Ross and Jackson Johnson. Long three and hits it. You're going to see in here a lot of those this year from Jackson Johnson as he ties us up at six apiece. Our clock is just a touch ahead of the clock here in the stadium. I think we failed to stop it on the free throw, so we're just going to wait. About 4.15 to go here in the first. How about that drive? Nice reverse there for Reese Dent. Young man came down from Wasatch. Jackson Johnson blocked away by Dent. Now Dent coming up the floor. Looked for the dunk but was just shy. And now contact here underneath. And we're going to get a foul here on American Fork. Or on Alta. My apologies. Is this foul going to be called on Goodfell? That's going to be his second. He's going to have to come off the floor here as Bo Compton checking in here for coach Travis Horn here's Mulford ooh thought about that step back good close out there by Dash Rawson inside arms got yeah arms got tied up there Doliak will pick up his first personal here That's the third team foul on Alta. Blake Rossin going up against Doliak, hanging, couldn't get it to go, tapped around, and it's Mulford with it. Jackson Johnson with the denial. Ace riser. Ace splitting that double team. Tough baseline jumper won't go. Shepard with the board. Cuff backdoor cut defended well by Riser. Shepard went right into the D of Ace. 12 on the shot clock. Rice and Rossin trying to back down. Good movement here. Mulford, shot clock down to six. Diego trying to split it. He'll pull from 17. That shot won't go. Tapped up, loose ball. Recaptured here by Dent. Shepard for three. Short, and the rebound to Johnson. Doliak works back. Compton. Will play to Jackson. Ace. Excuse me, that was Dash. Johnson trying to drive. Shepard got a hand on it. Johnson had the possession. Mulford to the floor. Diego Mulford able to tie it up. The arrow will keep it here. Great hustle play there for Diego Mulford. Of course, a part of that Cypress team that made it to the semifinal last year. Now a caveman. We've got whistles here before the inbound. I 
We'll pull a substitution here. Coach Cuff will as Jake Mulholland will come on the floor. Rossin will get a break. A little back door to Dash. Nice cut there by Dash and good vision to find him on that baseline. Tied up at eight inside of two to go here in our opening quarter. Here's Mulford, step back three. That's Diego's shot right there. There have been many a defenders that have seen that three get past them and drop just like that. First bucket of the game for Diego Mulford. Dash quickly down the lane and scoring it. Great take there for Riser. Here's Cuff. Tiger trying to back down. Ace and does. Tiger able to score two in the paint. Up quickly. And Matt McKay with a quick response. The quarterback turned forward now as we transition to indoors. I say quarterback, but he was really all things out there. Could run, catch, and throw. He's like Peter Pan of Alta football. Riser gives back. Matt thought about it. 40 seconds to go here in the quarter. Johnson out to Dash. Shot clock down to five here for Alta. Dash trying to drive. Sends over to Ace. And this out of play. It'll stay here. Two left on the shot clock here for Alta. Oh, never mind. Officials got together talked talk about it. It's going to be American Fork basketball. Shepard defended there by Compton. Clock down to five. That tipped out of the air by Compton. Sent up McKay looking for Riser. Gets it away. And a scoring right of the horn will give Alta a 14-13 lead after the first. You're watching Alta High Basketball presented by Opal Luxury Services on the Rewind Sports Network. Welcome back. Out the basketball is presented by Opal Luxury Services. Do you have marble countertops? Do they stain and etch easily? If you don't want to worry anymore about stains or etching, contact Opal Luxury Surfaces and see how their state-of-the-art stone sealer technology can change your life forever. Find us online or on social media at Opal, Opal Luxury Surfaces and opalluxurysurfaces.com and mention this ad to receive $200 off your marble countertop seal. Want to thank Opal Luxury Services and all of our sponsors of Out the High Basketball that make this stream possible on kslsports.com. Unofficial scoring at the end of the first quarter. Jackson Johnson had five, Dash with four, Ace with three, and McKay with two. Meanwhile, for American Fork, four for Blake Rossin, three for Diego Mulford, Cuff, Dent, and Shepard all with two apiece to pace the cavemen as they the cavemen will start with the possession here this second quarter trailing I think for the first time tonight of course I've been a little off all night tonight so I could be wrong on that Dent inside that double team coming down by McKay we've got a whistle here Alto is looking to start flying up the floor before that whistle Try to go right back inside and out to with another steal. That was by Popkey.
Ace gets the switch. He'll take the three. Ace shot just short. Rebounded there by Shepard. Here's Rawson. Pull up from Shepard. Won't go. Riser. Here's McKay. Popke works out. Compton, the three. And McKay able to keep that here. Ten on the shot clock. And we'll get the traveling violation here, the call. Boy, multiple bodies hitting the floor there. And the Bulls were kind of looking for help. That ball comes down. The official there, I think. Rightly calling the traveling violation as possession didn't change. Mulford goes right back to Rawson. Blake, family in the house tonight, trying to work against McKay. Won't go. And McKay coming up with the board. Here's Bob Key back to Johnson. Jackson on the drive inside. And count it and one here for Jackson Johnson. Jackson Johnson here with the three-point plays. Rawson picking up his first personal. Again, this free throw brought to you by D to D. As Johnson converts a three-point play. And boy, Riser nearly had the steal. They're going to call him for the foul here. First personal there on Ace. Mulholland works over with Hale. Now Rawson in the paint, back and down, won't go. This follow won't go. Kept here by Hale, tries to go up. That knocked away on the attempt. And then on the floor, we've got a tie up here. And the arrow will give it back to Alta. Substitution, Doliak back on the floor, as is Dash for Alta. And for American Fork, Reese Dent. Checking back in. Doliak handing off. Dash looking to drive. Boy, that's a tough right-handed finish through the lane there for Riser. It's a 19-13 lead. AF has not scored in this second quarter. And remember, out the scored right at the horn, so it's been a 7-0 run here for the Hawks. That just kept in the front court by Cuff. And it sends to the corner. Dent for three. That was strong. Jackson Johnson with the board. Now looking up. Here comes Popke. He'll send out. Three for Compton. is short. Shepard has the run out. He's going end to end. Count it. First bucket of this second quarter for the Cavemen. Scored in transition with an and one play and a chance here for Shepard to pull this back to one possession. As that foul was called on Compton, his first. Third team foul on Alta here in the second quarter. Shepard hit two free throws back in that first quarter. And he hits this one here. Oh, 
Dash being defended by Mulford. Oh, what a move by Dash. Just strong on the attempt. And Doliak couldn't maintain it. Boy, did you see that burst by Dash? My goodness. Living up to his name. Approaching the midway point here in the second. Looking outlet there for Mulholland. Kept here. Rossin inside and an offensive foul. Going to be called on Blake Rossin. That'll be, I believe, his second. Ace Riser back on the floor for Alta. Xander Hill just came on to relieve Rawson having to sit down with those two personal fouls. Goodfellow gives to Dash. Dash will pull from the junction rimmed out. Cuff with the board. Inside, fouled. And American Fork with a chance here to go. Oh, they did not call that on the shot. My apologies. That was trying to get to the 14 inch runs for his first team is fourth. That was called on Dash, his first. 14 foul on Alta, so they do call it on. Okay, because I, I thought it was going to be, but then they never said the lane. So they do call it on the shot. It'll be two free throws here for Shepard. want to take a moment to thank our sponsors. If you have marble countertops but you're afraid of letting others use them in fear of staining and etching, Opal Luxury Services can take care of this concern with their state-of-the-art stone sealer technology. You never have to worry about stains and etching again. Find them online or on social media at opalluxuryservices.com. Mention this ad to receive $200 off your stone sealing through Opal Luxury services is a foul on this end on Tiger Cuff is his first. Jackson. Step back three, my goodness. Second made three of the night for Jackson Johnson. Here's Mulholland. Works back over. And the foul here, that reach coming in from Ace. I think that's going to be the second foul on Ace Riser. So that's the fifth team foul on Alta. Two free throws for the rest of the quarter here for the Cavemen. As Hale on the first, making the first. One more here for Xander. Shepard checking back in here for the cavemen. The lob and for Doliak. Kind of got caught behind, still got a shot off, nearly made it. Just off the mark as AF gets the clear. Inside cuff. Oh, nice power sub there by Tiger. Boy, I love that they've taken opportunities for Tiger to be off the ball and feed him inside with his length. This is a 6-5. You can get favorable matchups in the paint with that length, and AF has looked for that a couple times tonight. 
Dash giving back to Doliak. Denied. Boy, what a block. Johnson. That three just wouldn't go. And Hale with the rebound. Our apologies. We missed that last bucket. We're trued up. Now we put it on the wrong side. So I actually don't know if that's right. Scoreboard says 22-21. I'm second guessing that personally, but here's Cuff from the corner, hits it. Yeah, I think I missed the Tiger bucket. I think I put it on the wrong. So 24-22, Amer 24-22, American Fork out in front. Johnson, that's a long two, but he's good on. Tied up at 24. Unofficially 13 points for Jackson Johnson tonight in this first half. Cuff backing down, little fadeaway. Seven points in the quarter, nine in the contest for the future Weber State Wildcat. Down to 45 seconds left here in this first half. Here's Johnson trying to work against Reese Den and Jackson Johnson with two more. Shot clock turned off for these final 30 seconds. Here's Mulford. Clock down to 15. Tiger on the drive, working over to Hale, plucked away by Johnson, gives a peek at the clock. Jackson Johnson will have a look straight away. Jackson Johnson! He knew it from the moment that shot went up. You saw him hold up the three as an emphatic second quarter for Jackson Johnson. Have him unofficially with 13 points in the quarter, 18 in the contest as Alta takes a 29-26 lead into the locker room at the half. You're watching Alta High Basketball presented by Opal Luxury Services on the Rewind Sports Network. Welcome back here to the... Five for the fight, Hoop Fest at Pleasant Grove High School, Alta and American Fork, last game of the week. And it's the Hawks with a 29-26 lead. Of course, Alta basketball on the Rewind Sports Network, presented by Opal Luxury Services. You know, want to thank D to D Millionaire as well for helping us out with Alta High basketball. We didn't have a lot of Alta free throws in that first half, so D to D Millionaire has been helping home service companies build successful door-to-door -door programs since 2003. Lenny Gray, the author of Door to Door Millionaire Books, and his team can customize a D2D &D program for any home service company. Schedule a free consultation by going to Lenny Gray, that's G R A Y, LennyGray.com. Of course, Opal Luxury Services has you covered to make certain that your marble looks good for longer. You don't have to worry about stain and etching. And to find out more, visit them online at OpalLuxuryServices.com. Start of the second half. This one knocked away. It will go to Alta. We do want to thank our Alta listeners, viewers out there for helping us out. Zach Papke, we'll talk about him more in the second half, but I want to apologize to the Papkeys and Zach. I got that one wrong in that first half. There's a lot going on up here, and I reverted to an old movie character, so appreciate your patience with us. Is Alta inside. Jackson Johnson. I would say that's the easiest shot he'll have all night, but let's be honest, every shot has looked easy for Jackson tonight, including some 25-foot three-pointers. That one puts him at 20 in the contest. What a first half for Jackson. Johnson had 13 just in the second quarter and 18 in the first half. As Mulford here with it for American Fork, works inside here to Cuff. Nice hand feed there to Rawson. And Blake Rawson, who picked up that second foul about midway in that second quarter, had to come off the floor. He's back on as a turnover here for Alta. Mulford bringing it across the timeline here for the Cavemen. Mulford hit a three in that first half. In fact, I think that was the only three we saw from American Fork. As inside, that one scored 
by Ross. And my apologies, there was a three hit by Tiger Cuff now that we uh, think about it. Back-to-back buckets for Blake. Pulls AF back to within one. Ace. Works over. Doliak will take the three. That won't go. Another three. That one does. Dash Riser scoring the three. Inside, worked around. Shepard will try it. Jared Shepard now with eight. Worked around, good fellow. Pull up there for Riser. Dash thought there might have been some contact there. No call. 36-33 Hawks. Cuff. He'll try the three. That's off the mark. And Dash with the rebound. Jackson. Another deep three for Jackson Johnson. His fourth triple of the game. Remember, he had six of them in their season opening win. He's got ten on the season in just six and a half quarters. Mulford. That one taken away. Good fellow. Dash trying to fend off. And good fellow. With the fast break bucket, his first field goal tonight, and the lead pushed up to eight. And good fellow there going to be called on the foul. It's going to be the third there on Carter. He'll come off the floor here as Bo Compton checking back in for Alta. Shepard working in. Here's Rawson. Those eyes up. Doliak, nice post defense there. Rawson just strong on the attempt. And Compton able to track down the board. Hawks across the timeline. Ace, left-hander, won't go. Here's Cuff. Straight away, Tiger able to hit the three. 12 points now for Tiger Cuff. I don't want to say that he's been passive in his previous years, but I don't know that I've ever seen him be this aggressive offensively as what we've seen from him tonight. Of course, his senior year, awesome to see. How about that play? You want to talk about awesome? The Joliak rolling off that screen. And Carter Doliak, I think, with his first points tonight. Cuff, another three. Another made three for Tiger Cuff. And a timeout taken as Cuff now up to 15 points on the night. And it's back to a four-point difference. We're going to take just a moment here. I thank our sponsors of Out the High Basketball. Without them, this would not be possible. Are you tired of stressing over ruining your marble countertops that you spent thousands of dollars on? That stops now with Opal Luxury Services. Find us online or on social media at Opal, at Opal Luxury Services and opalluxuryservices.com. Mention this ad to receive $200 off service from Opal Luxury Services. And, of course, we want to thank DDD Millionaire, there are free throw sponsors tonight, but Alta 
hasn't gone to the line very much. Lenny Gray, if you're in the home service industry and looking to break revenue records in 2024, Door to Door can help you do it. D2D Millionaire has been helping home service companies build successful door to door programs since 2003. Lenny Gray, author of the Door to Door Millionaire books, and his team can customize a D2D program for any home service company. Schedule a free consultation by going to Lenny Gray. That's G R A Y, LennyGray.com. Out to basketball. Inside of three to play here in our third. Here's Dash. The lob for Johnson. And Johnson was running out of real estate, tried to save that, but American Fork coming away with it. Cuff. Working over. Waskip pass intercepted by Ace. Oh, how about the vision by Riser up ahead to McKay. Boy, Ace fooled everyone in the gym with that look off. Cuff in the paint, tough shot. Draws the contact there. And so it'll be free throws coming up here for Tiger Cuff as McKay picking up his second. Since Alt is not shooting free throws, we'll extend it. I want to remind you these free throws are brought to you by Door to Door Millionaire. Go to LennyGray.com for a free consultation and find out how he can help elevate your home service companies by building successful door-to-door programs. First free throw there for American Fork was good. One more here for Tiger. Hits them both. Open three for Compton. Bo Compton with his first field goal tonight. It's a triple and pushes the lead back up to seven. Cuff ran out of room, but boy, a foul called here inside. That's going to go against McKay, and that's going to be his third. So Matt McKay picking up a couple fouls here quickly in this third quarter, and Tiger Cuff back to that D-to-D millionaire free throw line. We talked about the second quarter for Jackson Johnson. He had 13 points in that quarter. Tiger Cuff has nine points in the third quarter. Had nine in the first half. He's got 18 tonight. He's having himself a great, great, great night. If you know, you know. Out to basketball, up by five. Ace in the paint, handing off to Dolly, and count it! Riser with the beautiful find to Carter Doliak. And now Carter Doliak with four points in the third. We'll head to the line for the and one opportunity. And this out to hot free throw brought to you by D to D Millionaire. You can get a free consultation at Larry Lenny Gray.com. Is that free throw good? 51 43 Alta. Final 90 seconds here of the third quarter. Shepard around the screen. He'll pull baseline. That shot was strong. And the rebound secured by Doliak. Ace thought about it. Carter works back. Here's a three from Papke. That was just off the mark. And it will stay here. 
with Alta with one minute to play. Hey, Zach and family, we got it right that time. It's a good look there for Papke as he'll come to the baseline to inbound. Never mind. Papke will come off the floor as Dash checks in. Meanwhile, for American Fork, Jax Clark has come into the contest for the first time tonight. 6'8", sophomore for Coach Cuff. Ace. That step around, just strong. The rebound ripped her away there by Rawson. Sent over Shepard for three. Jared Shepard with a pair of made threes in this third quarter. Riser with a look. Won't go. And Rawson with the rebound. Trying to tie him up that time was Compton. Able to take it back there for American Fork. And AF can take the last shot here in this third quarter. Final 10 seconds. Cuff. He's hit two threes in this quarter. This inside the arc. He'll send out Shepard. Two on the clock. Has to get one up. He does. And just rimmed out for Jared. That'll do it for the third. 51-46. Alta still in the lead as we head to the fourth and final quarter after this. Welcome back. Start of the fourth quarter. Out to high basketball on the Rewind Sports Network is brought to you by Opal Luxury Services. What a game we've had tonight. Alta has outscored American Fork in every quarter tonight. And though it's just a five-point lead, American Fork going to have to try to find some way to turn those tides. That won't help. Jackson Johnson with another made triple tonight. His fifth of the contest. That puts him at 26 points tonight. He had 28 in the season opener. And a whistle here quickly in this fourth quarter. This is called on Compton. That'll be the second on Bo. Here's Rawson. Doliak trying to play physical. Rawson as well. Able to get to the rim and score it. 10 now for Blake. And Compton hitting his second three tonight with a nice response. Offensive foul called on Tiger Cuff. That screen not set. Second personal on Tiger as American Fork will give it up. Nine point lead, largest lead of the contest for Alta. First opportunity to make it double figures. Just would it go for Jackson. And this was out of play as Dash tried to save it. Good hustle there, but didn't have enough room to complete it. Here's Rawson. Riser being really physical with Cuff down in the paint in the post there. You see Tiger trying to square him up, and Tiger able to do it. 21 points I have for Tiger Cuff tonight. Here's Ace. Gets around Tiger. The reverse won't go. Cuff with the board. That deflected, and Reiser able to come away with it. Might have been Johnson, the length, getting that disruption. And we've got a timeout being taken here by Alta. Timeout, Hawks. They've got a seven-point lead and the ball. When we come back, you're watching Alta High Basketball on the Rewind Sports Network, presented, presented by Opal Luxury Services. Welcome back. Marble is the number one selling stone for your countertops, but why are people scared to use it? 
because marble can stain and etch quicker than you can say, I love my marble. Well, Opal Luxury Services has the solution. Get the marble you want and don't worry about the staining and etching anymore. Contact Opal Luxury Service online or on social media at Opal, Opal Luxury Services and Opal Luxury Services. Dot com. Mention this ad and receive $200 off your stone sealer with Opal Luxury Services. Want to thank them for sponsoring and presenting Alta High Basketball on the Rewind Sports Network. Alta coming out of the timeout, leading by seven. Trying to improve to 2 0 on the season. Of course, want to remind you we have every Alta game for you right here. On KSL Sports Rewind on KSLSports.com. Here's Jackson Johnson. Uh oh. Oh, that shot just off. It doesn't take much for him to get that shot away. Just a little step off, and he's got enough room. That one, I thought it was going to drop the way he shot tonight. Is this one? Oh, he got a foul called underneath. I thought it might have a steal. The official right there seeing the contact. And this will be the third personal here on Ace Riser. And he'll stay on the floor here. As Goodfellow back on. Tiger pull up from the line short. Riser with the rebound. Looking inside. Here's Dash. Dash around the screen, right to the rim. Wouldn't go, and that tapped out. It will be American Fork basketball. Boy, a couple of rare misses at the rim for Alta in this second half. Approaching five to go. Looking inside, cuff blocked away. It'll stay here. Rawson. Oh, that's stolen by Johnson. Jackson trying to elevate. And draws the foul there on Dent. And so Jackson Johnson will head to the line. These free throws brought to you by D to D Millionaire. It has been helping home service companies build successful door to door programs since 2003. Visit LennyGray.com. That's G R A Y, LennyGray.com, for a free consultation. Johnson makes them both. That lead pushed back to nine. Shepard got around Goodfellow to the rim and finished. Jared Shepard, I have him with 13 tonight. He's been good and probably the player I was least familiar with coming into this one for American Fork. He's had a strong night. Good fellow for three. That won't go. And Cuff able to quickly throw that to Mulford. Now looking up for Shepard. Oh, what a finish. Mulford throws him right to the rim and Shepard with the finish. It's back to a five point difference. Here's Ace. He's going to drive. Oh, patience. Got Shepard in the air, and Riser able to, to take care of it. Cuff short, and a foul called. He's going to go against Johnson. Excuse
Excuse me. They called Doliak. My apologies. Second personal on Carter. Cuff sends out. Mulford. Just has the three tonight. A second look here was just off the mark. And Dent here. The contact being called. Rawson coming back on the floor. I think both teams with three team fouls, so each side with just one more to give. Riser found some space, wouldn't go. Doliak, an offensive board, and Doliak with the putback. Pushes it back to a nine point lead. Here's Rawson. And a blocking foul called here underneath. That's going to be on Doliak, and I think that'll be number three. So that being the fourth team foul, American Fork will be shooting free throws from here on out. And it'll be two free throws. Cuff to inbound baseline. Cuff back to Rawson. Johnson trying to stay vertical there. And we've got a loose ball foul here. Going to be called on Alta, the Alta bench. Frustrated with that call. And they're going to give this on Johnson, I believe. Here's what you got to love about Jackson Johnson. That's his first foul tonight. With 28 points. Two free throws. Here for Blake Rawson. First made free throw for Blake tonight from that D to D millionaire free throw line. Makes them both. A little pressure here from American Fork. Ace trying to get around Mulford. Sent out. Cuff just missed the opportunity to take that away. Here's Dash. Shot clock down to 10. Jackson Johnson trying to back Cuff down. Finds Doliak, the three, won't go, and Cuff with the board. And Cuff calling the timeout there. Is, I'm trying to save the possession there, and granted. Timeout, Cavemen, 2.15 left to go. We'll be back after this. Welcome back to Alta High Basketball on the Rewind Sports Network, presented by Opal Luxury Services. American Fork with the possession. They've got three timeouts left. Alta has four timeouts remaining. Meanwhile, AF still has one foul to give. Alta has none. And just like that, we'll head down and take two free throws with Tiger Cuff. Third personal on Compton. Cuff. Have him sitting at 21. And he's got two here. Or an opportunity for two here. Tiger good on both. Pulls us to a five-point difference. Compton works up with Johnson. And back to Ace.
Ace, a shot and a bucket. Ace Nine points now for Riser. Shepard, boy, there's a long three. Off the mark, Johnson with the rebound, and Diego Mulford going to be called for the reach. And that is the last foul to give for American Fork. At least I think. PA just said that it's only the team's third. Scoreboard says they're fourth. So we'll navigate that as needed. Ace cuts through. Left-hander won't go. And rebounded by Rawson. Tiger. Boy, set up that spin, but it was knocked away. Johnson ahead for Doliak and Shepard coming in. Going to be called here for the foul. Second personal on Shepard. And they they did say fourth on the PA, but it does say five on the board. Officials are ready to line them up. Going with the scoreboard. Two free throws here. So, indeed, it was a fifth foul. And so, Doliak here with two. Doliak, good on his first free throw. One more here from the D2D Millionaire free throw line. If you're looking in the home, or if you're in the home service industry, looking to break revenue records in 24, D2D Millionaire can help you do it. Schedule a free consultation at LennyGray.com. That's G-R-A-Y, LennyGray.com for a free consultation to help build a successful door-to-door program with DDD Millionaire. Timeout, Alta, 67-58. We'll remind you again that Alta High Basketball is presented on the Rewind Sports Network by Opal Luxury Services. And if you've got marble countertops and you want to protect them, from that stain and etching that sometimes is so easy and frustrating to experience, Opal Luxury Services and their state-of-the-art stone sealer technology can change your life. Visit them online or on social media at Opal Luxury Services and opalluxuryservices.com. And if you mention this ad, you'll get $200 off your service from Opal Luxury Services. Just over a minute left. American Fork with possession. Training here by nine. Time becoming an issue for the cavemen. Cuff in the paint. And a quick timeout after the made bucket. We'll step aside here and be back. Watching out the high basketball on the Rewind Sports Network presented by Opal Luxury Services. Pressure here from American Fork. Johnson. There's Dash. That trap coming. Dash dribbles out of it. And now fouled by Mulford. And Dash now will head to that D to D millionaire free throw That's line to shoot two. First free throw for Dash, good. And Jake Mulholland checking in here for American Fork. Dash goes... Perfect from the line there on that trip. Final 44 seconds. Cuff. Sends to the corner. Mulford for three. Won't go. Doliak the board. And fouled. Carter Doliak will walk down and 
head to the line. Been a great contest tonight. Been competitive back and forth. Out every time they've pushed up a lead. American Fork has come back. After trailing by 9, 10, a couple times tonight, they've got back to one, two possessions, but just haven't had enough to overcome the offense that we've seen from Alta tonight. And this guy has been good in the second half. Doliak goes two for two from the line. As it's a double-digit lead. Shot clock turned off for the remainder of the contest. Timeout here called by American Fork. Timeout, Cavemen. And we'll be back with a conclusion after this. Final 26 seconds. That shot won't go. Rebounded by Riser. And Alta can just dribble this one down. They led by five coming into the fourth. It'll be an 11-point victory for the Alta Hawks, who led for the majority. I think they trailed 6-2, something like that, out of the gate. Once they came back to tie it, take the lead, they would never give it up. Final score, Alta 71-60 as the Hawks defeat American Fork and remain undefeated in the early part of the 23-24 season. We want to thank our sponsors that make this coverage happen. Of course, D2D &D Millionaire, if you want to elevate your uh, home sales services, no one better, visit LennyGray.com. And, of course, Opal Luxury Services, our presenting sponsor of Alta Basketball here on the Rewind Sports Network. Our player of the game, Jackson Johnson, finished unofficially with 28 points tonight to help lead Alta to the victory. For everyone here at Rewind, for Tino Psyche, my name is Dane Stewart. Thank you for joining us. Happy Thanksgiving to you and yours, and we'll catch you in December as we take you through all the best games, including out the high basketball right here on the Rewind Sports Network, presented by Opal Luxury Services. Good night, everybody.